Hey folks, here at Kircher Engines in Rowan, Indiana. Uh, just going over some stuff real quick from the past season, what they found with RevX products. Uh, Dick, nice to see you here today. Hey, I'm standing up and getting ready to go. There yeah. you go. JR, thank you for having, having me on here. 50 years in the industry plus, a lot of cars they've done from funny cars, the top fuel cars, all the way to NASCAR cars, champ cars, Indy cars. You've done it all, haven't you, Dick? Yeah, I have uh, 50 years of it. We are here because we had a problem earlier in the year with Anthony McEwen running his sprint car out of water. Tell me the, the scene of events, sir. You, you popped the top off at what you expected to see what you did see. Um, like you said, uh, Anthony McEwen, um, he uh, was running Toledo Speedway. I think it was about eight laps into the race. They pulled him off the track and uh, said he was leaking something, didn't see nothing, and then pushed him back out on the racetrack. Um, and he ran the rest of the race with uh, no water in, uh, in the motor, and it got uh, extremely, extremely hot. Took the valve covers off, and uh, you could see that it definitely got hot enough that it uh, dis discolored the uh, valve springs. But when we realized when we took the valve covers off that we didn't smell that the the death smell uh, of the oil uh, coming out of the motor, so we um, we then uh, took the heads off. Um, uh, didn't see much wear uh, on the cylinder walls, and uh, when we got down into the bottom end. Uh, noticed that uh, the bearings i mean they they look like normal wear and we know that the motor got it uh, hot enough that it, it it didn't really cook the oil that bad when you put an additive in it it keeps it in suspension it makes it stick there so when you go back out to to run you don't have metal to metal contact so down the road it's going to save you money because uh, the motor's going to run longer but if you don't run an additive as far as i'm concerned uh you're shortening the life of your engine there's a lot of additives that are out there there's ceramics there's graphites there's mollies there's teflons you guys have probably seen all the, the, the uh, side effects what those can do when when you're in the bottom of a pan when you pull it off if you've ever taken your oil pan off is a, a like a dark sludge uh, in the bottom of your oil pan and that that's that's the molly or whatever you know whatever additives that have broken down or in the bottom of the oil pan. When you dropped Anthony's pan, did you see any any title tail uh, like we seen nothing very, like that. Very 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 little. So no sludge or anything like no that. No sludge though. in the pan, uh no excessive wear. It looked like uh it would be a normal rebuild uh bearings uh, I wouldn't have been afraid to put them back in again and run them because uh they had no there was no copper showing. Uh, not, none of that in the motor, and when we honed it, very minor. I think uh, five, four or five strokes up and down with uh, the finishing stones, and nowhere. So you're basically three, four thousandths if you took off by honing it when you did. Oh that no, 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 no. That would have that would have been a half a thou. Half a thousand. So, yeah. so very little cleanup then. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, you <laughs> so you didn't have the smell. You didn't show the wear. You were at that point pretty piqued your interest. What is this stuff? Yes, yes. Yeah, we we both we you know that's what we were kind of shocked with at Toledo Speedway where this where uh, Anthony McEwen had had this happen and they're running them wide open. You know where we were shocked is just you know how good the side of the cylinder walls look, the pistons look, the bearings look, uh, ev the way everything looks. We were just shocked. The, the best part of it was and we didn't have to put pistons in it or oversize the board. And uh, that saved them quite a bit of money, probably a couple thousand, maybe more than that amount of money. So a small $75 insurance package at RevX says you think it's quite well worth the package. After, after seeing that episode, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it does work. This additive had to be helping keep that temperature down. For not to smell, for, for, for the not oil, to have not, the smell. For not it cooking the, the oil. The, for, it the helped. cooked oil, yeah. And that's phenomenal. And so, RevX, you're seeing the benefit from it. Guys, i got to say thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day. Where can we find you? Can we find you on Facebook? Um, yes, uh, we have a Facebook page. Uh, it's Kircher Engines. Go over there and uh, like us. If you guys got any questions uh, about, you know, what, what we've talked about here today, would, you know, like to talk to you. Yeah, so champ cars, sprint cars, late models, you name it, these guys do it all here. Thanks for seeing us today.
RevX Racing Oil Additive. If you want the protection, performance, and cooler engine RevX Racing Oil Additive has to offer, go to RevXOil.com and buy yours today.